that guy's got the guts to go in there and turn himself in? Well, this D. Gray has definitely turned out to be an interesting character, isn't he, darling? Yeah. Well, I don't like anything about him. I wonder what he's up to. Well, I'm up to a beer. Who's with me? Is that the best you can do? Take it or leave it, dear. I'll take one. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, that's all you've got to offer. Yeah. Give me another. Yeah. And... <laughs> well, whatever this creep is up to, I'll find out tomorrow when I go in there. Captain Ramsey won't like it. What's he gonna do? Throw me in the joint? I've been in there before. It doesn't make any difference. Nobody's gonna stop me from going over there tomorrow. Nor me. Oh, no. You're not gonna go over there. I am, too. He's involved with my sister, and I want to know what's going on. You don't know that for sure. Don't tell me what I know or don't know. He's been following my sister around, and I want to know why. Hey, hold on a second. You're confusing things a little bit, aren't you? I am not confused. My head is on perfectly straight. Well, your head may be on straight, but there's a bunch of garbage rolling around in it. Where do you get off saying something like that? Hey, now listen, cut uh, it uh, out. Uh, 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 uh. Don't stop a scene like this, darling. You know, I'm really sick of this. Every time we talk about this thing, you make your sister out to be this poor little lamb, this poor little lost soul. Like she's the ultimate victim or something, you know? And it, personally, I don't know where she is, and I don't care. I don't care what she's doing. She's probably doing it by choice. All I know is that she doesn't want to be involved with you. You don't even know what you're talking about. I know that my wife is missing. My wife is missing, and D. Gray was following her. And even following my sister, too. Your sister is not missing. Your sister is avoiding you. How dare you say that? You don't even know her. I have no interest in meeting your family. Typical from you, Luke Spencer. Typical. And I'm even trying to help you find your wife. Of course you're helping me find my wife. If you could, that's the only reason that I am putting up with your company. Oh, you disgust me. Why don't you just listen to me? I'm through listening to you. Wait, 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 why don't you just let her go ahead, because i got a bunch of adjectives for her, too. I can't, 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 can't. Let's, let's calm down, all right? All right, but Robert, she's not going down to the police station tomorrow. Nobody is going to the police station. Ramsey doesn't want to see any of us down there. Yes, and I think he's right. Well, I'm going whether you like it or not. No, now, Robert's right. Now, I think we should listen to him. Neither one of you should go. And besides, we promised the Webbers that we'd go down to the Dollar Day tomorrow. Dollar day? Dollar day? I'm this close to finding my wife, and you talk dollar day to me? Hey, come on, come on, come on, let's calm down. Well, what are you, what are you, what is this? I, I, I gotta fight you, too? I mean, I gotta fight her, and I gotta fight both of you? Come on, it's your turn. Why don't you take a swing at me or something? No, I think we just should not go. I think we should both just stay here and not go at all. My friends. <laughs> well, listen, I am gonna be there tomorrow morning when D. Gray shows up. And nobody's going to stop me. Besides that, I really don't need any of your help because it's my battle. I'll fight it on my own. Well, pal, I got an assignment for you this morning. You have? Yeah, I want you to keep uh, Lois Lane, girl reporter, busy while I go to the cops. What's the big rush? I mean, Gray isn't due at Ramsey's office for at least another hour. Robert, I know that, but I have no intention of seeing David Gray with the cops. I'm going to see him before he goes into Ramsey's office. Well, I get your point, but Brenda Starr's not going to like it. Who cares, man? I got a bone to pick with this guy, and I'm going to squeeze him on my own. Good morning, gentlemen. Go easy on the word gentle. You know what to do? I'm on my way. <clears throat> Where are you going? Madrid. Don't want to be late for the bullfights. I thought you were going to go to Ramsey's office. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a red cape. <laughs> Robert, what is he talking about? Bullfights around here? Good thinking. So come on, Robert, tell me, where's he going? I can't tell you. Well, I guess I'll just have to go to Ramsey's alone. Uh, that's not a good idea. And why not? Fair chance you'll find Luke there. Ramsey's office? No, probably lurking in the bushes out the front. He has this idea of nabbing Gray before Ramsey does. It's a personal thing. And it's not a personal thing with me? <sighs> no, it's just different, that's all. You at least know your sister's alive. What does he know about his wife? Nothing. And this guy, Gray, could be his only link. So what does he think he's going to do? Well, I won't give you three guesses. Well, judging from his mood, I bet he's going to wring the guy's neck. That's a good start. Well, we cannot let that happen. Oh, I don't know. Strong-arm tactics have been known to work on occasion. Not this time. All Luke will do is scare him off, or worse, T. Gray could get to Luke before Luke gets to him. Ah, so that's it. You're worried about him. No, I'm worried about my sister. And if you care anything about Luke and his wife, 
or lure on me, then you'll come with me and help me. This isn't my day for physical exercise. Fine. Just fine. <laughs> I told you not to. Are you David Gray? Thank you. Captain Ramsey, just look at the guy's ring. He's the very man <laughs> that Laura described as following her. He knows what happened to her. I have no idea what this maniac is talking about. My name is David Gray and I'm here of my own volition. You tried to run me down. You tried to run me down in a car! Jackie, is this man you saw at Gorham's? He is. Well, arrest him, damn it! Luke, he's behind all this, Captain. Listen to me, the only one who's in any danger of being arrested around here is you. Uh, come on. Up. That goes for you too, Scorpio, and you, Miss Templeton. What are we doing? You're interfering with police business, attempting to take the law into your own hands, and assaulting a witness. Would you like to hear more? No, don't bother, Captain. We already figured out whose side you're on. Oh, come on, Luke, grow up. You know as well as I do that in this country a man is innocent until proven guilty in court. As Mr. Gray said, he came here of his own volition. He has a right to stay or leave. Mr. Gray, I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. Let's get on with it, okay? All right. We'll go into the interrogation room. I think there are too many of you for my office. Follow me, Mr. Gray, please. This way. Mr. Gray, 